In this video, we will discuss the latest features available in Fault Analyzer version 14.1.4. The first of these features is the addition of further history file information available when viewing or changing the properties of an existing history file. You can now view details such as the primary and secondary space of the dataset without having to use the ISPF 3.2 dataset utility. Other additional information is also provided, such as space usage measured in minidump pages, logical history file size, and the total space utilization. Much of this new information is also available when changing the properties of a history file. In addition, you can now change the logical history file size from this panel as well, which is particularly useful when reallocating a larger history file dataset. The second major feature available in version 14.1.4 is the Kix Asynchronous Information Panel. This display shows the asynchronous child tasks that were spawned by the current app ending task, and provides information about what asynchronous processes were running at the time of the app end. If you navigate through the task ID hotspot at the top of this display, you will also be presented with an expandable tree diagram showing the relationship between parent tasks and their spawned child processes. This provides a far more intuitive view of the number of descendants of your bending task, and which branches are the most populated. 